back several years ago, I was selling drugs and my house got raided by the Broome County Task Force and I ended up in the Broome County Jail. I was a heroin addict for a long time and it got to the point to where I started breaking in people's homes to supply my addiction. Um, thank God it was, you know, people that knew me, that knew my past, that knew who I was and were willing and ready to try to help me get better. My addiction brought me into jail. Um, I was in and out of jail for, I guess, probably about four years. And when I found the Inside Out program, that's what saved me. 35 years ago, God just gave me recovery from addiction, drugs and alcohol. And it was in that recovery that I began my journey walking with Him and experienced Him in my recovery. He led me on a missions trip, and it was on that missions trip that I was able to go into a women's prison and talk to the women about God, you know, delivering them from drugs and alcohol, just as He had me. And I just felt like on the plane, God spoke to me, you need to do this in Broome County. You need to do this in your community. You need to help in the women that are incarcerated also find and experience God. The Inside Out program, it provided a foundation of where I no longer lived the lifestyle that I did before. It wasn't just the drugs that I was addicted to, but it was everything that came along with the drugs. In my addiction, I always felt like he was trying to like ruin everything. So the second I was in there and I started detoxing, I was like just crying out like, please God, just help me find my way. It gave me something positive to lean on, um, to know that there was something better out there than the, the life that I was living. I've seen marriages healed. I've seen families restored. I've seen babies born without addiction. I have seen people get their GEDs. I have seen women get their um, college degrees and go on to be successful career women. And it's because of God transforming their lives. Now that I'm out of jail, I have restored my um, relationships with my family, with my daughter. I now have a great relationship with her. I am an orthodontic assistant, and then I also work at Sweet Frog. <laughs> I have a two-year-old and he's amazing. And I'm going to be graduating from Broome Community College in the spring and starting nursing school in the fall. Ultimately, I'd like to work in an emergency department or possibly even like a drug and alcohol rehab. I've completed college. I have two kids. I got married. Um, I have a house. And uh, I just went to a, a training in Albany f to be a, a grief group facilitator for people that have lost somebody to substance abuse. If you talk to the women that I've worked with, what is the success rate of Jesus in your life? Some people would say that faith-based programs are 85%. You talk to these women, they'll say it's a hundred percent success. Mm -hmm.